Hello everybody and welcome back to Survival Challenge. Now in the previous episode, there was a huge pile of wood here. It was virtual Dagwin's wood, and he said he was going to make something. So obviously it was going to be something really big, uh, with that amount of wood. So yeah, he's been busy, working away, and as you can see the wood is all gone, because he has now made the thing that he set out to make. It is... this chair. How he managed to make that chair out of that little pile of wood. I don't know. He must use every bit. One thing's for sure. He must have a few offcuts. <laughs> anyway, you join me over at the store. What I'm gonna do is put the trailer into the workshop and we're gonna reconfigure it to a flatbed. This was actually recommended to me in the previous episode. So configuration, bale trailer. I'm actually going to use it as a logging trailer, but in the future we can use it as a bell trailer. It is free. It's completely free to do this, so that it's... Uh, well, I suppose we're just taking the sides off, are we? Must be removable sides. Uh, reattach it. And we're going to head off, because we do have a bit more wood to sell before we can buy the combine harvester. We are going to buy it today. And I did read the comments about uh, reducing the price of the combine and stuff. I would love to, but it's a, it is a rule. It is one of the rules for Survivor Challenge. I'm not allowed to adjust the prices of any mods, so whatever the modder thinks it's worth, even if it's half a million pounds, I have to stick with it. Um, because Yeah, it, it's just basically to avoid any kind of uh, cheating or taking advantage of the system. Because there's not that many rules, really. And it is supposed to be a challenge, and it is still very challenging, but... Yeah, I obviously couldn't come along and change it to £8,000. We need 39000 so we need £10,000 worth of wood. Uh, looking at this, actually, it looks smaller than the uh, other trailer. But I think it is heavier duty. So let's get over to the farm. I've got a few trees lined up. We'll cut them up quickly, bring them over to the sawmill, and hopefully get £10,000. When the price is at its best, in the future we can sell all of our sugar beet. The price definitely has to be pretty good though. Okay, so this tree's already been cut down. I did this, I think, just after I recorded the previous episode. Uh, yeah, I was hunting around for what to do in the next episode, which is this episode. And I came across these trees. I do like the trees, but we do need the trees to sell and also I think probably one day the yard will actually stand here so it is space which has to be cleared anyway so yeah quickly log these up pop them onto the trailer two trees just there put a strap over that can be my foundations for the other trees and there is this off cut just here which I might be able to slide underneath Kind of. But yeah, um, I think I can probably put twice the amount on here. So I'll get that done. And then we'll head off. And then hopefully we'll have the money to be able to buy the harvester to harvest these lovely soybeans. Okay, I just had to restart the whole trailer because I tipped it over whilst dropping everything. Um, so yeah, I need to um, see if we can get this up the hill without flipping it. Okay, that's the first part failed. Luckily in this game, you get a second try. Okay, so let's get over there. That is actually a serious amount of wood. Hopefully £10,000, although hopefully even more because we don't want to be going with absolutely nothing in the bank account. Although I have noticed we have a lot of tomato pallets over there. The price I don't think is good at the moment, but anyway, yeah, let's just see how I do with this. Well, it seems to pull this much better than it pulls the other trailer. 
I can do 16 miles per hour on grass uphill before I was doing about eight. <laughs> so this is interesting and I'm pretty sure I have more wood than normal as well. Thank you to everybody who suggested using this trailer. We are gonna to have to reconfigure it again though for when we do the harvesting. But at least it's free. I think we should need to get a toolbox over at the farm. Uh, it'll either be free or very cheap. And then we can take the sides off ourselves instead of having to go all the way up here to the store. Uh, yes, I have not taken the proper track there. Oh, it's that yellow car. But I've made it. I wouldn't be surprised if it's just short of 10,000. Just enough to annoy. <laughs> so, there we go. It might not all sell in one go. Nope. Oh, wow. Seven and a half thousand just from that. Plus 2,300. So we do have enough money to buy the combine half, so this is great news. Uh, 40,726. So I'm going to get this reconfigured right now. We won't have much money left, but we will have maybe 800 pounds. Uh, but we can sell some more wood in the future, and we've got the sugar beet, we've got tomatoes, and maybe even today, if the price is right, we're going to be able to sell these soybeans. But this really is a huge step in the right direction. Because uh, once we have the combine harvester, we can do many different crops. Yep, customised to that. There we go. Uh, I'll take this back over to the farm first of all, and then I'll come back and I'll pick up the combine. Let's hope we don't suddenly get a huge fee from something. Ooh, that was close. Like, crashing into the, <laughs> into the workshop. Uh, I couldn't have timed that any better. Okay, here we are. So I'm going to just park out of the way. Put it just there. Switch the engine off. We're going to harvest all of these soybeans today. Of course, soybeans do not produce the straw in this game, so um, once it's done, in the next episode, we're going to be thinking about turning the field around, putting another crop in. And you can see we're doing very well for tomatoes. I do need to check how much water we have in the greenhouse. Uh, 6,663 litres. That seems pretty good. I don't think we're going to be running out anytime soon. Nope. So that's perfect. And the price for tomatoes, I think it's, it's a few months yet until it's good. January. But it's not terrible in February, March, April, October, November time. So any time but now, basically. Yeah, it looks like we are just approaching the worst time possible for tomatoes. But that's fine. It means we get to sell more in one go. So, harvesters. No cheating involved. £32,000. No leasing either. And we need the header. £7,000. Uh, this was... The £39,000 in total was for everything being standard, so we can't really change anything here, I don't think. I think we're just going to have to go with this. Uh, but that should be fine. Blimey, there are a lot of different configurations. So we do have £1,726 left. First time I've seen this actually in the game. Looking forward to using it. Beacon on. Yep, cabalus of course, there's no glass. We just have free air conditioning all the time. Well, I wouldn't really call it air conditioning. <laughs> We're gonna get covered in dust. Uh, but we had to put up with the dust on series one. Uh, we'll have to wear a respirator. I don't know what it is, but every time I get to this road, it's always the yellow car. It looks good. Interesting uh, tyres as well. Is it Nokian tyres, or is it a mixture? It's like a chevron tread with a different texture. I am indicating, I didn't think it had any indicators, but it does. On the front, so nothing on the back, I don't think. Um, are we going to sit here all day? Oh, looks like we are. You go. Oh, come on. You've got to love the traffic. I'm going to nip in front of you, blue car. 
I'm going to crash into you, grey car. Well, we got there in the end. Absolutely pointless having to indicate, though. Because they're just going to block your way. It's good, though. If it was faster than 14 miles per hour, I feel like we'd be absolutely flying with this thing. I wonder how fast I can harvest the crop. I, I can't use, well, I probably can use the uh, mod which allows me to increase the speed. But I think probably with the harvester, we'll go with standard. And since we're going to be starting down this end, I might as well just go across the end here and then up the far side. And this marking which I made with the plough, that's where we're going to extend the field to. Hopefully, in the, in the next episode or two. Okay, so here we go. Wow, it's a rapid feed. Crikey, that is a rapid feed. Um, right, so I must just point out I have not checked the sound levels. I'm really hoping it's not too loud. Hopefully you can hear me. The vast majority of this will be probably time-lapse anyway, so even if it is pretty loud, it shouldn't really matter too much. Uh, the only reason why I'm concerned about this mod in particular is because it doesn't have a cab, so it might be the same volume internally <laughs> as it is externally. Anyway, it's filling up pretty quickly. Turn the beacon off. And I did also have I've had so many good comments. Um, yes, a comment about using a mulcher. If I mulch the grass, apparently it will get rid of the weeds, but then the grass will regrow without having to redrill it. It's a good idea. I think if we can get a mulcher, like a really low cost, small mulcher, we can do that on the top area where we're not going to plow up. But if we can't, um, yes, I'm going to leave it. I'll just plow it up eventually anyway. Because at the moment I just really don't want the weeds. And I haven't looked into most. I wouldn't have thought we'd have an issue finding a small mower. But yeah, not something I've looked at in detail. Okay, well here we are at the tractor. Put the oil grout. Just make it to the top. We're exactly 50% full. But that's pretty good. Getting 5 or 6 miles per hour out of it. Okay, close it down. Yeah, this really should not take too long. I know it's not a very big machine, but it's also not a very big field. It's just so good to be harvesting, to actually have a combine harvester. And I feel this is probably going to be a combine harvester for quite some time. Nice rapid unload rate as well. Okay, put that little oil green. Oh, I love how you have to hold it back. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, obviously, I, I don't like that if it was a modern machine. Highly inefficient, but it, it's just nice to see that sort of design in FS. So you must have to get out and hook it back to hold it in place. Okay, right, so... You know what we're doing? Let's get cracking.
getting there. I think it's going to be almost a full trailer, if not a full trailer. The combine is already full again, or almost full again. I don't know if we're going to be able to get all this in. It doesn't look likely. And overall, it is performing very well. I think when you turn very tight, it does struggle a bit, but then it's uh, usually when I'm turning uphill. I haven't really been turning downhill, so <laughs> it's not very fair on it. Anyway, that is full again. So put the auger out. You see I'm turning uphill again. Five miles per hour. Come back for that final piece. But yeah, what I need to save up for in the next episode is a bigger plan because we've got a bigger tractor I think we can probably sell the tiny plow that we have it's been very useful in fact I find it hard to believe I even did this field with it a two furrow plow I ploughed all this area with a two furrow how full is the trailer 61% so maybe we can get it two thirds full then the next harvest can be maybe twice this size, in fact more than twice this size because this whole field is going to be one crop. It was really good doing sugar beet, we will do sugar beet again, but not this next time because now we have the combine, we can get crops in very quickly. Okay, we're finished. It didn't take too long. So I'll check the price, uh, because we do have seasonal growth switched off, we're not really harvesting at a usual time for soybeans. It's May, so in fact it could even be the best time of the year, it's like the opposite time. Soybeans. Oh, it's still coming, the best time is still coming. 3.7 at 11. 3.3.07. So... Well, we're going to be moving on anyway, because I don't think I've progressed since the previous episode. We need to move into June. Um, and we can go from there, really. So, yeah, definitely not worth selling them right now. That's the other thing we need. Some storage sheds. Because everything at the moment is just left outside. Which is not ideal. Okay, just pop that there. But yeah, a lovely combine. A big help. We couldn't have done it without it. Well, that reminds me of the size mod which I used in Vintage Survival in FS19. Uh, it didn't actually harvest the crop as such. You just got the straw from it. But it was good. It was a nice way to start. Because it was really cheap. And it allowed us to sell some straw. So 5,000 litres in total there. Pretty good. Maybe we can get £18,000 around that. 18 to 20. Depends what the price actually is. Uh, right, so we don't really want stuff to fly into this. I don't think we have a sheet. No. So just pop it there. And I'm going to rest. It's unfortunate that it's not June now. We could... Yeah, we could actually move into July, because if we just make sure the uh, greenhouse is okay, we've nothing else to wait around for. It's always summer as well, so it doesn't matter if we go into winter anytime. Uh, right. Oh, wow. 3838. That's already above. Oh, well, look at that. It's looking promising. It won't necessarily be better in July. Things have changed. I think instead of gambling, because we're definitely not in a position to gamble, although we never are, uh, let's go and take that fantastic price. And we can sell it. And then we don't have to move on either. Okay. So there was only one sell point, I think. Yeah. We could see if that's going to go any higher. Again, pushing my luck. Oh, it is. It's going up really quickly. Well, we'll get over there. But this is great news. My timing was fantastic, which is very rare. 
much, much later. It's now almost 20 to 6. I just couldn't help but keep it at 360, which is fine. There's no rule in this series about elapsing time. We can just keep elapsing time. And it went up to, you'll never believe it, it has peaked. Uh, so it's definitely worth not resting until July. It's peaked at 4,025, which is insanely good. So, um, yeah, extremely happy about that. Okay. Need to find the cooperative. Yes, of course, it's the place I went to before, although I went to the trigger just around the side. Okay. Our hard work will pay off here. Come on, the suspense is killing me. Oh, wow. So, there we go. 20,262. That is fantastic. So that now gives us almost £22,000 to work on cultivation equipment, maybe mulches, maybe mows, uh, but lots and lots of things. The future is looking bright. And then we have the tomatoes to keep us going. Just wondering if I need to keep this here for whatever reason. Because uh, in the next episode we're going to be buying other stuff. I don't think we do need the trailer here. It would be like to put a fertilizer bag in or something or seed, but I think we're okay. So let's just take a look. Let's just go into plows. Yeah, so I currently have, well that subsoiler is a great thing to get, uh, but again it's a bit expensive for what we're currently looking at. I currently have this one, 600 pounds. It got us a long way, really helpful. Uh, if it's still worth around 600 we can sell it. If it's depreciated to next to nothing, we might as well keep it. Um, but, yeah, 150 horsepower. How much is our tractor currently? 100. So, if it's 100, we can definitely be looking at the 80, which is this one here. This one is 130, this is 150. Uh, it would be an upgrade of one furrow. Um, I think we'll just go for that. We can definitely afford it. But yeah, this looks like a good thing to buy in the next episode. I could also push my luck. I, I could attempt to run a four furrow. 130 horsepower requirement. It's a risk, but at the same time I could just sell it again. Or I could just keep it for when we have a bigger tractor. So, many things to consider there. But this has been a successful episode. Lots more work to do tomorrow. The work is definitely not over. Uh, but yeah, we have uh, definitely progressed nicely there. New combine, and still £22,000 in the bank account. It's looking good. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.